Hey, how you doing? Uh, tomorrow is, this is uh, Sunday, and tomorrow is President's Day. Uh, I think some of you will be off. I, I, as a kid, of course, we got, uh, it was cool because we got two holidays. We got Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday. And then, uh, I guess because they felt people had too many days off on the state and federal level, they merged the, the two. So uh, whoever you happen to be celebrating, um, you know, George or, or, or Abe, um, hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, as I do for all holidays, just like my dad, I'm putting the flag out. And we're not getting into that because we're staying away from politics. Um... But anyways, the last couple weeks, I really haven't picked up a lot of stuff. Um, even on my pull list, uh, there really wasn't much, which is fine, because I consider the number of books that I'm behind uh, reading, uh, it's just as well. But I do want to try and get back into the habit of doing this, these videos at least every couple of weeks. So we're just going to go through these uh, really quickly, and then I have a couple of comments after that. Uh, from Boom, we have House of Slaughter, number 12. This being a spinoff of uh, Someone's Killing the Children. We have the second act, the second act, well, it's actually, it's it's th this book is called uh, Saga of a Doomed Universe. It's uh, kind of a, a take on the old uh, epics or events that we used to see. This is a three-issue series. Uh, this is uh, part two of three, and it's fun. I mean, characters you're you're not you're not familiar with uh, getting killed. But uh, there is some characterization. I'm enjoying the art. And like I said, it has that old kind of fashion feel. Uh, speaking of which, a uh, character you, some of you may be aware of, the Golden Age uh, Daredevil, who has, uh, since he is in the, in the public domain, uh, uh, several companies have, have started adventures like Dynamite, used him, uh, for a while, and they changed it. Ch Somebody changed his name from Daredevil to uh, something else, the Red Devil or something like that. Um, although, you know, unlike some names, you know, it, you know, you can't. I mean, the name Daredevil, you can't. You know, you can. Uh, I guess you can copyright the look of the character, but you can't trademark the name. Uh, but that's all beyond me. Uh, we have Where Monsters Lie, which is an anthology series, which was recommended by by several by several sites. Uh, Static is uh, renumbered number one. This is season two. Which I, as I've said before, I have an issue. An issue, no, no pun. Uh, when they they do that, because it, is it really a season? I mean, what is it? Twelve issues, and then you start a new season. I mean, it's one thing with a TV show, but a book that just seems weird. Um, we have issues two and three of uh, Danger Street, uh, where they've taken uh, a number of characters that uh, created by uh, Jack Kirby, uh, Steve Ditko, and others that appeared in, I think it was called the uh, uh, First Issue Special back in the, uh, what, 70s or 80s? And uh, characters that, for the most part, really didn't, uh, take off um, Atlas, uh, the Green Team. Uh, 
what? Um, anyways, um, uh, the, the Creeper uh, and others. Um, here we have Icon versus Hardware, um, which are two called Worlds Collide is the first issue. Uh, I don't know how many issues this is going to be. Uh, two characters, uh, two of the original Milestone of characters have issued number two of uh, eight billion genies, which I'm really enjoying. And I should probably just break down. Issue number seven just came out. Uh, I'm picking up the, uh, like what, this is like the fifth, the fifth printing of the other books. I should just go ahead and I should just buy them. I'm, I'm buying like one a week, which is, seems kind of silly. I should just go ahead and do it um, so I can catch up. A really wonderful stay at the story, as I've said before, uh, about when uh, the Earth's population hits 8 billion. Uh, suddenly everyone is uh, granted a genie and you have one wish. And as you can imagine, uh, people are, pretty much wishing for for big things. Uh, they want a superpower. They want money. They want fame, things like that. But, you know, how many billionaires can you have? Uh, if, you know, 100 million people are famous, how famous can you really be if you're just one among many? Um, we have uh, from uh, Paul Levitz and Alan Davis, who was, you know, uh, a great comic book artist from England. We have Avengers War Across Time. Um, old school uh, Avengers going back to the early issues uh, <coughs> of the Avengers. Uh, <coughs> picking up the the main characters uh, Thor, Ant-Man, Wasp, uh, the, the Hulk, <laughs> and others. Um, then we have a Miracle Man Silver Age by Neil Gaiman and uh, Buckingham. Uh, this is issue number four, uh, which is book five because there was a zero. And finally, uh, from Marvel, we have Fantastic Four. Number four, which is probably volume, what, 27? Do they even do volumes anymore? Nope, they don't do volumes anymore. Okay. But it is Fantastic Four, so it's probably, yeah, probably like volume 20. How many Fantastic Four number ones through whatever that have there been? But, uh, um, the the Alex Ross covers are just phenomenal. Yeah, that's a reason to get it. And in this case, um, residents of the uh, negative zone, uh, Annihilus and his horde, among others, are invading Earth. And uh, been there, done that. But the art and story are are, are quite good. And I like the uh, the way the characters are being treated. Uh, I think they're being treated respectfully. But anyways, that's it uh, for me, uh, at least on comics-wise. I was a little disappointed, I hate saying that, with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Uh, I, as I said in my uh, online review, uh, a written review, uh, it's, uh, it's on Facebook and on my blog, um, the one of the the, the the novelties of the first two uh, Ant Man films was that they were uh, done on on Earth, you know, real Earth, if you will, and uh, they were smaller in in scope. There'd be one mil villain with a superpower, or in the first one was a high tech uh, character, but this is uh, this is like intergalactic hardcore. Uh, and uh, it's interesting because in, in the film, uh, 
They never, they don't tell you the, the, the villain's name for uh, a while in the, in, in, the, um, in the film itself. I think it's probably about 15, 20 minutes before they actually say his name, Kang. But it's like, well, he's in all the trailers. You already know who he is. Um, so you get the feeling the film was done. Then the marketing group said, well, you know, we, we got to tell people who it is uh, first. You know, let, the, let them know uh, why they want to come to see the movie, to see Kang. Uh, there are two uh, post-credit scenes of the mid-credit, which I think, which I absolutely loved uh, because it it introduces uh, or shows two characters or two incarnations. Well, three incarnations of Kang, two of which I immediately recognized as being old school. And the third, I'm not, I'm unsure of, although I'm sure he's, you know, as the other two are, I'm sure he's comics accurate. Um, and the the final uh, credit at the very end is basically a teaser uh, for an upcoming uh, Marvel uh, TV series. But it, it was great to see these characters there. And uh, anyways, it, it, it makes sense since that series is, is, is pretty much going to be picking up after the events of this one, I'm, I'm going to guess. Um, that's it for now. I've gone on uh, uh, way too long. Uh, my apologies. And I can't think of anything else to recommend off, right off the bat. Um, cabin in the Woods. Uh, I, I knock on the cabin. Knock, knock on the cabin. Uh, was pretty good. I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I've talked to people who say that it's different from the novel on which it's based, which is, I think, the last cabin in the world. Uh, but, uh, anyways, uh, it was good. I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm currently watching The Queen's Gambit, which I absolutely love and can understand why it was uh, nominated for all those awards, why people absolutely loved it. Again, I'm, I'm continuing to binge through uh, Lucifer, um, probably towards the end of season three, um, which was the last season aired on Fox. And I think, I think that's it. I'm sure I'm forgetting something else. Uh, anyways, uh, take care. Uh, be good to yourself. Do what you have to do to get through this crazy world and peace out.